Hey, what's up? Michael Thomas here, and this is the first in a series of videos where you're going to witness me designing my new portfolio site, building it, and deploying it. I've actually already designed it. I'm going to walk you through my thought process. If you're taking on your own clients, then hopefully this is going to be useful for you, especially if you're not a designer, because I'm not a designer, I'm a developer. And when I was taking on clients in the very beginning, it was a stressful situation because you really want to come up with a design that they're going to be happy with, but it doesn't come naturally to you. So I redesigned my logo because if you'd have come to my YouTube channel a couple of weeks ago, you'd have seen a logo like this, Aligned Dev. I'm going to talk about branding in another video and I'll explain what Aligned Dev meant to me. It appealed more to me than it did my viewers, I think. So we'll get into that in another video because that is important. I redesigned my logo and then that set me off on one because I looked at my old portfolio and I wasn't happy with it. This is very old now and it's time for a change. So what did I come up with? Well, let me show you. Here's what's going to be the new homepage of the portfolio. Now, how do you come up with designs? That's what I really wanted to get into in this video. How did I come up with this design? Well, I got inspiration. I took ideas from a number of different sources and that's what you should be doing. Looking at other designs, drawing inspiration, combining them, building upon them and making it your own. I actually drew inspiration for the logo from Chris Sean. Go check him out. He's a web developer. He's documenting his journey quite openly and candid, candidly on YouTube, which takes some doing. He had an old logo. It was his name split in two. It's not there now. I would have been good to have been able to show you, but I just wanted to give Chris a shout out because I did get that idea from him. Now, where did I get the idea for this picture of me with this blue greyish mask over the top of it? Well, that idea came to me from Joe over at Coding Phase, another awesome YouTuber. Go check him out. He's also putting himself out there. Joe's just being Joe, and I think that's what people love about Joe's channel. What about the icons and the tagline? Mike Locke. I've drawn a lot of inspiration from him and I feel like I'm on a similar path in terms of being a YouTuber um, and an instructor. I want to get more into making tutorials. But let me draw your attention to the general layout here. Now you can see where this came from. Here we have the, um, I guess you could call it the heading and the tagline. So here the idea is to concisely convey what it is, who it's for, and how it can help them. I'm not going to go into marketing because I'm not a marketer for one. I know some of the core fundamentals, but I'm not going to get into that here. Now let me draw your attention to this. This is a nice little effect. Well, it's not really an effect, but if you put spaces in between the letters, I just find it looks quite ele elegant and that's something I got from my partner. Design is an iterative process. What does that mean? It means it's highly unlikely that the very first mock-up that you come up with is going to be what you're going to go with. You're going to tweak things, you're going to build upon it, you're going to take a step back and look at it and decide mm, that looks a little bit out of, out of place. Let me change that, let me try this colour. It's an iterative process. Now keep in mind that there is a solution to every design problem, okay? Try not to get frustrated, just remember that. If you can formulate the question, there's the answer. That's how the universe works. There is a solution to every design problem. Even before we had the clock, for example, the clock, okay? The clock was already there even before it had been invented. It's just that no one had come up with how to make it happen, but it was there. You know what I'm saying? Can you dig it? Let's move on.
So let me just share a few sites that you may want to check out where you can get ideas from awards.com and Behance. So you can be coming in here and just checking out some designs that you like, bookmark them for later on. You'll never know, they might come in handy when you need to draw some inspiration for your next uh, design. Now, if you're concerned about okay, what's copying from someone idea, somebody's idea and what's stealing, I'd recommend you go and check out this video um, over at The Future. Here's uh, Christo having a conversation here. And as far as Christo is concerned, there's nothing, there's no such thing as an original idea anymore. Almost pretty much anything you can think of has already been done by someone in one form or another. What you definitely shouldn't be doing though is accepting awards for your design work without crediting where you got the inspiration from, okay? So always credit the people that influenced you where possible. It doesn't mean you have to like credit like every little tiny um, influence from your designs, but I think you get the picture. Go check that video out if this is something of interest to you. Okay, the next video we're gonna get into branding. I hope you got something from this one. Any questions you've got, leave them in the video description. This is Michael Thomas. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Before you go, I just want to let you know about Team Treehouse. It's where I'm learning JavaScript right now. They'll take you from beginner level all the way to professional from HTML, CSS, and then on to JavaScript if you want, or Python, PHP. They've got pretty much everything here, man. Look at this, C Sharp, Android, iOS. Um, I actually built an iPhone app with the help of Team Treehouse. I'm currently doing their full stack JavaScript track. So uh, for $25 per month, you get all of those tracks on there. So uh, go have a look, see what you think. They've got tech degrees as well, which I think is a good alternative to a boot camp. If you don't want to spend a whole heap of money on a boot camp, have a look at the tech degree. There's a free trial, so you've nothing to lose by trying it out. I've left my affiliate link in the video description below, so please, if you're going to sign up, use my link. It helps to support what I'm doing here on YouTube. I'm documenting my learning journey over on my website. I'll leave that link in the video description as well. This goes all the way back to 2015. There are gaps where I was just so busy I wasn't coming back to doc document it, but I, I will be from now on. I've made a promise to myself. Anyway, thanks for watching the video and thanks for supporting what I do. Catch you on the next one. Peace.